Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking to you about how to find a part-time job because when you're in school, you know, there's like, you just have a bunch of, like, you have classes, you have homework, you know, if you play sport, you have that, like, you're in different clubs and activities, you have that, or sometimes, you know, you're not really kind of, like, involved in something, you kind of want to do something that kind of, you know, you have, like, a lot of free time available and you want to do something that fills that up, you know, you kind of just want something to fill in or, like, boost your resume, whether you apply, like, college or, like, whatever kind of like school you're going to so finding a job is like a really good idea for that like if you don't really have much in the resume or if you have a lot going on but you just want something extra too because you know having a job in high school really prepares you for like when you go like outside of high school like when you graduate into college because it's a whole different world there you're dealing with a ton of different people and you kind of have to shift like perspectives because you may think like high school may be hard and you know there's a lot of different people and stuff but once you get into the real world in college you know it's just so much more people and just so many different like problems and like areas that you have to you know get used to you have to kind of like immerse yourself in and get comfortable so getting a job like really helps you with gaining that experience and how to handle with it you know and to not be like as stressed so i definitely recommend getting a part-time job in school um, I applied for various jobs, so hopefully I get something back, but, um, for this video, I'm going to be sharing, um, three tips that I have on, like, how to find, like, the best part-time job that, you know, fits for you, like, your schedule. So, the first tip I have is to make sure that, like, wherever, you, wherever you're, like, applying to, to make sure that, like, you see yourself working there. Because if you don't see yourself working there, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna have a fun time, like, when you have to, like, get up to go they're like to work like say on the weekends you had to work in the mornings if you're getting up and you're feeling miserable and you don't want to do it and when you get there you just feel like you don't want to do any work like you just think it's all tedious and you're just upset then that means that job wasn't right for you you know it's not somewhere that you saw yourself and then it kind of just leads to you being miserable and you know when you eventually quit when you could have like found somewhere better or you actually liked and you could have stayed there much longer and you know things would have turned out different so always make sure like when you apply somewhere you see yourself working there like in that position like if you see some work in the cash register like could you see yourself doing that or like if it's a restaurant could you see yourself like making food or like washing the dishes or anything like that and then also if you're applying somewhere um whether it be like clothing store or a restaurant or like somewhere else like make sure like you visit there because like, you don't want to be like if you're like kind of adjusted to like already like what the surroundings are and like what the store is like say you were like shopping at this one store and they're hiring and then you got hired into it then you kind of like know like where everything is you know you like going there like you already visit there already and now you work there too because if you work somewhere where you actually like going to like you shop at you you know you eat at then you have like a better like background how to handle things you know you can uh, help people like quicker because you already kind of like know the layout of the land and stuff so working somewhere where you actually like going to you like visiting really kind of boosts everything too because you already have like a familiar you know scenario with it so the second um tip i have is to be on the lookout for um whether like restaurants or like um clothing stores or like any other kind of stores you're like hiring because they may not like say it like straight up but they'll have like tiny little signs saying you know now hiring or like we need more um chefs you know you can do this like we need more people to make pizzas like you can have a little pizzeria so like just be on the lookout for those or like sometimes you need to be on receipts like they say stuff or like online ads you know because they'll just be like hiding you don't even know like um one time what was it I was hanging out with a friend and I said I would love to like get a job here and I saw like a little sign saying now hiring and like where like the website to go to you know and they do that in Starbucks too and you know just seeing those little ads like I feel really helps you out because you know sometimes you don't know if a place is hiring until you see the ad and like sometimes when you ask you're like no like just make sure that you know the place is hiring because you don't want to apply and then like not like read your application at all because you know they're not accepting any applications at this time because I did that, um, I applied to this one, um, fast food place and, you know, they already have all the workers. Like, I applied at the wrong time. Like, I should apply, like, you know, towards, um, you know, seasonal times where they needed a lot of people because, like, the lunch rushes and stuff. So, just make sure you're applying at the right time and making sure that 
you're accepting out at that time because you don't want to like waste your time on something that's not going to be reviewed. So my last tip is to um ask your friends. Like I have a lot of friends in school that um you know they work part time jobs. You know not only do they do schools and sports and you know AP classes, they also have a job too. And like I ask them questions about it and like where they work and like how the application was. You know kind of get some tips on that because. Ultimately, like, they are already in the environment of working, you know, they can give you tips on how to handle situations or, like, when to apply, like, what's the best time to, um, submit your application. And, like, if, um, you haven't heard anything back, to, like, call them because, um, I asked this one girl about, like, I submitted an application to, um, the place she was working at and they, I, like, I never got a call back, like, I never got it reviewed. But then she said, oh, like, after you submit a couple days after you submit it again just like call like they can give you like pointers on like how to get a response back or like you can check the status of your application so always ask around because um believe it or not there's like a lot of people with part-time jobs in high school and they can definitely give you some tips and pointers and you know if it's your friend that you you're asking then if you get the job then you can be working with your friends and you know it kind of boosts your mood a little bit because you know Having a job may not always be fun, but you know, if you're doing some, if you're working somewhere where you actually like, and you're with people you know that you have fun around with, then it doesn't really feel like a job, you know? So yeah, so those are all my tips on how to find a part-time job. I hope you guys enjoy them, and I hope you, um, I hope they helped you out when, you know, you're either applying for a job, or, you know, you need to, you needed some tips on, you know, where to even start. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.